Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to learn how to add animation to our graphs and charts in Canva. But before that, we've created a free step-by-step -step guide that you can download and easily follow along click by click to show you how to complete this tutorial. Click the link below. It's free and only takes a few seconds. Anyway, let's start. This is a template that I got from Canva. And however, if you'd like to learn how to actually add a chart or a graph to your design, simply press the forward slash key on your keyboard. And this window will appear. Next, input a chart on the search field. And then select what kind of chart you'd like to make. For example, we're going to make a pie chart. So we're going to click on it and it'll automatically be added to our page. Go ahead and resize it however you want to. Next, input the uh, values and labels here on the left side panel. And if you like, you can also convert your current graph or chart to another by going here on the drop down button. Select any chart you'd like to change your current one into. So say, for example, you can turn your current circle chart or pie chart into a line chart. And it's going to look something like that. So basically, that's how you change from one chart to another. Anyway, back to the topic. By default, Canva already puts animated entrance effects on your charts. So I'm going to pull up my timeline and click on duration here. And if we click on that, as you can see, our chart actually contains an animation. But if you'd like to apply another type of animation to it, you can do so. Just click on your chart or graph and then click on the animate button over here at the top. It usually says animate, but if you choose a template, then there is a possibility that the template you chose already puts animated effects onto your elements. And the, the name of the animated effect that is applied onto that specific element will be the same name that'll show up here. But if it doesn't have an animated effect yet, this will be called the animate button. So click on your animate button and here on the side panel, you can choose whether you'd like it to appear on click or not by toggling this button on and off. And then you can choose from animations over here. Feel free to select any, any animation you'd like to use. I'd like to use this one, and especially if you're a Canva Pro user, you have the um, additional options to uh, adjust its speed and adjust its direction. There. Once you're done, do the same thing to all of your other elements until you finish them. So I'm just going to quickly add an animated effect to my elements here. Okay, there. So we've successfully added animative, animated effects to them. So now we're going to start editing their timing. So to show your elements timing, click on your element and then right click and then click on show timing from the menu. Now, um, this is going to be our second element. This will be the first, which means we're not gonna adjust this first element's timing because of course we're gonna need it to appear first. So let's adjust the timing of our second element and it should be a little later than the first element. Now let's work on our third element going to appear later than the second. Now let's work on our fourth element, which is going to appear later than our third. And finally, we've got our last element that'll appear last. And to see what it looks like, we're going to play it.
there we go and I believe I haven't adjusted the duration or the speed of this one so let's adjust it do the same thing to this one and then maybe we can make the speed of this one faster this one as well okay let's try to play it again and there we go and that's all for today we hope you found this video of help somehow and if you've got some questions about Canva, feel free to check out our channel or you can leave some suggestions about what you want to learn or what videos you'd like us to make about Canva. Consider subscribing as well. See you in the next video and thanks for watching.